Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Matt Latter and today we're going to continue the Pillars of Eternity Let's Play series. So, let's go right on ahead. Let's go. In the last episode we've actually decided to go back to the Endless Paths and deal with some more stuff down here. So let's go right on ahead and kill these stone beetles. There we go. One down. Two down. And the third one shouldn't be much of a problem either. Come on. There we go. Hello. Hello? Let's go. Let's go. Let's take the swamp line first here. Kana, you can take the stone beetle. Actually, I think this is a good spot to maybe lob a fireball out. That was a nice one. You guys in the back line, take yeah. with, tangle with that black ooze. Okay, it's down, so attack the stone beetle. Can I use your second wind, please? Let's get a good shot. That's not very helpful. Come on. There we go. Now take the great up like goose. Down he goes, and the normal black goose. And down he goes. Bunch of lesser crafting materials and money. Ooh, resolution. Uh, raises converted to hits. A crit damage multiplier, and it's fine. Hmm, not bad. Hmm. Not good in. Not good enough to supplant I'll any weapon we're currently using, but yeah, good enough. Ah, that's probably where the Yadra statue continues. Yep. It's the head. This massive face appears to have somehow been shaped out of living Atra. Each ridge is smooth that and straight. That must have taken somebody a very long time. Indeed. An addendum was added. Deep within the caverns of the Endless Pass, I found a great sculpture of a head made of Atra. The face did not resemble any historical figure I was aware of, but the craftsmanship was beyond anything I've ever seen. I could, could this face be a depiction of the master below my steward spoke about? Hmm, certainly could. Okay, so we've cleared out everything. Let's go down two levels. I mean, the next level we already had cleared out, the fifth one. Yeah, no need to start around here. Yeah, that's the loading screen. The statue we've seen all this time. Okay, so road down is beyond where the drake was. Move along then. Okay, let's make a quick save. Be on the safe side here, and down we go. Gonna be fun to see what uh, enemy tiles we face down here now. So far we faced Saurabs, Ogres, and um, Trolls and Oozes. We must be getting close, I can feel in my bones. Also, the great arch architecture has changed. Skeletons. With those we can deal. This calls for action. Them, you take them. Come on, take him out. So with skeletons I think we can easily tangle. Depending on how strong they are. These ones don't seem too powerful. Though there is something of a constant stream going on here. Okay, we have target number one acquired. 
to the point of me being willing to actually hmm, could How may I have? try that. Yes, yes, yes. I hope I didn't hit our guys there. Because if I did, I would need to feel very stupid indeed. <clears throat> okay, what else can we do out here? I think we need to pull out some of the stops here. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Let's summon our own skeletons really quick. Damn, I triggered even more. Okay, really, the big problem here is not that we're fighting skeletons, it's that we're fighting millions of them. Man. Okay, you take care of the wizard. Let's get a blessing out here. After an easy get on. Okay, some bounding missiles. Also on the skeleton was up. Damn. They went to Nirvana. Okay. Let's navigate you. Indeed. Damn. Ready, well, immediately someone frees themselves in taxi, obviously. Is everyone paralyzed now? Or are you shitting me? He's gone. Can you set them fire? Switch your weapon, please. I think we lost that one. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we need to basically be very careful in this encounter here. Okay, let's reload that one. <laughs> Man, they really busted my chops there. I really wasn't expecting that. Okay, so let's pull them out piece by piece, then we can deal with them. Sure. sure. Hey. What? Uh, not my yes. gun. Ready, Sagami. watcher. Got an arrow for this one. Set on! Actually, Kana, you may... Oh, you don't have your Archibus anymore. Oh, right, I remember. We specced him to melee pretty strongly there. Why are you running forward? You dolt. You guys move back again. It's a bit counterintuitive, yeah. but that would be the right choice. Just like that. Okay. Hmm. Following your... Okay, let's take care of... The Dark Wheel. <laughs> They can be the most dangerous out here. Together with the wizard. Actually, they're lined up pretty nicely down there. I get a fireball off. Like that. Nice. That was a good one. 
Kana's been holding in the break quite nicely. Let's crack the Dargle then. He's only got two hit points remaining. Let's take out this Dargle then. And the wizard. Next time we take the wizard first. Too dangerous to let him live, basically. Ooh, lots of stuff to sell, in any case. Yeah. Okay, I think we really need to rest right now. Let's see if it can work out. Yep, it can. Oh, okay. Uh, Solma the Shackler, a slave from Rexorus, has arrived at your keep, seeking your counsel on some business matters. I don't like slavers. Okay. Let's go over here. I'm on the trail. Now As expected, a trap. Seen Disarmed. Inside we have a warhammer. Oh, the overseer seal. And some coppers. Herbal's protective skin. Okay. Press the tat. <clears throat> An expedition log page. I do not believe that we will ever leave this place. I wonder if Merrick still does. It's just the two of us now, as it was when this all began, and the longer we stay, the more certain I am that we'll, that that it will be how it ends, too. We barely escaped the drake. I cannot help but think it must simply not have been hungry at the time. I would call us lucky, but we will have to pass it again on the way back up. I found Andras. I don't think he was alive for long after that fall, but he made use of this time. The entire pool reeked of Mocha's tears. The crooked bastard always did love his poisons. Six. Okay, the armor we take. The space above the alcove is carved with simple hieroglyphs. So, a medium armor. What do you currently have? A DR10. Here is proof safeguarding fine. Safeguarding does what again? More damage reduction? Oh no, the crits converted to hits. Okay. Mm, not bad. But I'm not sure we have someone who will make use of it. So let's put it in storage. Okay, I'll do another quick save. Then we check this pot real quick. Hmm, snow cap. Ready, watcher. Let's move Sagami up here and Ever attack the Dargul. Move back in line. The three of you tackle the wizard. With a vengeance, please. Take me out as fast as you can. There we go. Wizard down, biggest threat to dealt with. Come on, kill him, there we go. Let's take care of these guys then. First we take out the fighter, then we focus the Dark Ghoul. And he should go down without a hit. There we go. And the skeletal fighter is also down. Now we can do some good looting. It's not much, but it will give us a good bit of money, I believe, all of that stuff. Nice and slow. And they really have it with wizards in there. 
Let's go. Okay, you guys are dealing with that. In time, you guys can deal with that up here. There we go. No big problem. Damn loots. Thought as much. A space above the alcove is carved with the symbol hieroglyphs. Again. That settled. Okay, so we have the overseer seal as well. Let's find a use for the three seals. Should not be too hard, I hope. A skeletal fighter. You're going down. Come on. Go down quicker. There you are. More money, more stuff to sell. I'll take a look. Let's actually. Let's go. Damn. Didn't work out as I hoped it would. Let's go. But those guys shouldn't be too tough to deal with. Come on. There we go. All are inside and fight. Dark goes down. And the ranger is no big deal either. Easy. 